This is the reverse fly with your loop band. So you're going to have both of your palms facing down inside of your loop band. I have mine kind of grazing over my palms and on the top of my hand, that's where I feel it places best. But if you want to place yours on your wrist or you want to go into um, a, you know, like a fist motion or you want to go neutral, you can do that as well, guys. Whatever works best for you is most comfortable for you. And it can vary depending on your ability level, your resistance, and depending on your hand placement, it can make the exercise easier or more difficult for you depending on where your weaknesses are, okay? So for what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to have them where my palms are, mid hand, and my palms are facing down. One arm is going to stay straight out in front of me while the other arm pulls to the side here, okay? So this is going to be working the muscles of the rear delt, which is the back of the shoulder. I'm gonna be pulling it out to the side until I get to about um, this L shape here, maybe just slightly less. You have this 90 degree angle between both arms and then control it back, okay? So if you wanted to, you technically could try and pull both at the same time, but the resistance that happens is either going to be too difficult here or it's gonna to be too flexible and snap there because it's just not meant to be stretched that far. So that's why we're doing these single arms. So you can bring it out to the side and back and repeat on that side, or you can alternate and go back and forth here. So that is the reverse fly with your loop band.